Yes. Congressman Paul, real quick, I think the uh, country's on pins and needles about the third parties this year because they think it actually can uh, deter the election and throw it one way or another to a candidate. Do you think the third parties this year can play spoiler in the elections? Oh, they, they could and they should have, but I don't think they've gone very well. I don't think they've done a very good job. So mm -hmm. my prediction is that the apparent support for third parties right now will not rise. It will probably dwindle. And the right. whole thing will be at the end is all these campaigns seem to be uh, who's, the, who's the worst? This, who, who are we going to vote against? Who do we hate the most? And uh, people, uh, the hate will drive the vote, and those people who are thinking on voting on principle, either for the Green Party or the Libertarian Party, they'll start saying, oh, no, I, I guess better not. I, I hate Hillary more than I hate Trump, so I better vote for Trump. That's what's going to happen. Uh, okay. I wished I'd been working very hard for true democracy in this country because I don't think we have it. But uh, they're not the okay. third party people, the alternative parties, they're not going to be in the debates. The people don't care. And it's going to be the native things that have driven this. And uh, like I said, I would like to see economic policy uh, be uh, one of the main issues as well as the foreign well, policy. Well, we'll, we'll that see generally it. is not the case. There's a couple of big speeches <laughs> set to be made. Uh, Donald Trump right. today and Hillary Clinton later this week focused on the economy. Uh, so we'll be listening for all of that. Congressman Ron Paul, good of you to be here this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.